Hey, what's going on? It's DJ. Welcome to Comstin Farm, episode number 12. Today, we're going to be ripping up a few fields to turn them into grass fields because we're going to need a lot more grass if we're going to be feeding 500 animals. We're also going to be fixing some fields that have some interesting spots in them that didn't plant. It's really odd. So, if you need to fix some interesting spots in your fields for whatever reason, or you just want to see more Farm Sim 22 in general, make sure you're subscribed. That way you never miss future content here on the channel. All right, let's get this party started. So the first thing we're going to be doing is plowing up a few fields. Let's take a look at the ones we're doing because you might want to do these too. So what I'm going to do is the horse pasture. I've already sold all the stuff in that previous episode. We're also going to be selling up 35 and... You see in here, we're going to be doing this as well. Now, one of the neat things is it looks like this might already be plowed up for whatever reason. I didn't do it, but it looks like it is. So we'll, we'll kind of poke our way in there just to take a look and see. You see, grass is all in that. I, I'm not sure what's going on with that. So we're going to get in there and get that done as well. Coming around through here. We've got three fields to do, and this is our first one. I want to show you how I do this. Maybe I do this differently than you, and you're going to be like, DJ, you're doing that such the hard way. You got to change it up, man. Or maybe I'm doing this in a way that you might find interesting. So I'm going to leave. Eh, I'm kind of back and forth about leaving this open and closed. We'll, we'll go ahead and close it up. We'll go ahead and drop this down. We'll turn on create fields. I start usually near the edge, near a uh, turn like this, so that I actually have to get that turn. A lot of people will start in the corner, and you get kind of a squared off first. Okay, well, I guess that's a placeable and not uh, drawn into the ground. Eh, fine for me, whatever. We'll come through here. Also, somebody had mentioned that there's a way through into the secret field into woods. We will take a look at that. Spin around right here. There you go. Very nice. Now, grass is probably going to be growing up on the edges of this. So, I don't want to get too close to it. Also, uh, in real life today, I'm having a little bit of asthma trouble. So, if you hear me coughing or anything like that, I apologize. I'll try my best to edit those out. Just heads up. I know a lot of you guys, this time of year, it gets to you. Hey, I'm just a normal person like y'all. It does the same thing to me. So, there you go. That's a... Uh, this is kind of my, <laughs> my my run right here. I will also run a second headland around this. Uh, and then I will probably just go back and forth. I've also got a big plow over there. That's going to be what I'm going to use for all of that. So that is step one done. I don't need to use the smaller plow for this. But yeah, another thing. People ask me, why use the smaller plow? Just use the larger one. Get the job done twice as fast. I will. But I like the precision of the smaller one. So, uh, the, I like both. <laughs> you guys just got to download both. Go into your plows. Go find your 6MT, 9MT. Buy one of each. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. They're great. I love those. Oh, and one more thing. Because I got called out for this in the comment section of the last video. Uh, I'm very, very aware that I did not get bees. We will get bees today, I promise. Even if I have to force it, we will buy bees today. I got you, fam. I got you. <laughs> All right, let's get through this. I'm going to go ahead and finish this setup, and then we'll go ahead and do some big plowing, and we'll head into the uh, secret field into woods. All right, we already got a problem. Not a big one, but I just want to share this with you guys. So this area is super bumpy. Really, really bumpy. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of help. We're just going to try and smooth some of this out to make it a little bit less bumpy. Beforehand, this was a pig field, and that's totally fine with it being bumpy. However, we're going to be working this field now, and I don't want it to be bumpy. Not a big fan of bumpy fields. I understand it's realistic. My front yard is bumpy. Uh, I bounce up and down when I'm mowing the yard. Yeah, I get it. This is a video game. I don't want it to be bumpy, man. Just nice and smooth, bruh. Nice and smooth. And lastly, our secret field in the woods. We're over here. You can see it's fertilized. Now, I think this is actually showing up as a field. I can't be sure, but I think it's actually representing itself as a field, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I didn't hit plow right there yet, and it was already plowing that up. So this is definitely a field. I'm going to go through and 
plow this up just in case anyway actually i really don't need to do this part do i huh uh we still need to get in here because it is a field uh that we're working we need to roll it we've got to do quite a few things to it so we may as well do this part yeah might as well turns out our not so secret field in do woods does not need to be plowed up and if you've got periodic plowing turned off you don't need to do anything with it it's just ready to go fertilize do do what you need to do you're fresh homie you're fresh all right so what do we have left to do well i've actually backed out and restarted because i would have had to have planted well that's just going to be more work to have to do so i'm just going to go through here we're going to get the rest of this stuff plowed up and then we've got to come through and plant and then roll and fertilize and we should at that point be completely done at least with this area right here with these two fields we're also going to have to go fertilize in our secret field into woods and then we'll be done with this area and then we got to plow up some interesting spots of fields which is really really going to be interesting anyway i'll check in with you throughout the progress so you guys can see what i'm up to now that the plowing's done every field needs to be fertilized so we've got the two fields behind us that we plowed up we've got our singular field right here I believe this field number four yep field number four plus we've got our secret field in do it so let's get it started fertilizing's out of the way everything is looking good so far we don't really have a whole lot extra work to do just these two fields right here and that's it Drop it down, enable speed farming. Kaboom, baby, let's go! Grass into the ground and uh, harvest in like, I don't know, a, a week. Yeah. Planting's done. Now we gotta get this rolling done. I'm not saying this is my least favorite job in farm sim, but I would quite literally want to do anything. <laughs> other than rolling and please don't go back and look at my first let's play where i said rolling was so much fun and i loved it and it was one of my favorite new parts of farming simulator please don't go look at that part no all right the last part that we need to do before we get anything else finished up is we got to put one last bit of fertilizer on as you can see it's not really hitting everything <laughs> because some of this was actually already a field which is really really interesting so the parts that was a field we're fertilizing right now and the parts that were not a field got fertilized when we plowed it up i know it's a little bit confusing but the good thing is once we get this last bit of fertilizer down it's not gonna be real weird like this anymore it's actually gonna look pretty normal like whenever i finish this i'll show you the pda and it actually doesn't look too bad all right so speckled field right well and here Fairly normal-ish field. Uh, there's still some spots that I missed rolling. I don't, I don't care. I really just don't care. You see down at the bottom, we're looking good. Whatever. Uh, there is a 98% yield bonus uh, instead of a 100% yield bonus on a lot of my land. I can't remember if that's because I haven't gone through and done what it wants me to do, uh, which I think is like plowing or lime something like that i mean i've got lime turned off plowing's turned off i've got the uh weeds turned off so these are these are a few things that i have turned off man it makes life easy though <laughs> all right so fertilizing is done all the fields every one of our fields has been fertilized it's good it's done it's ready to go um and for those of you that mentioned yes i i realized pretty late on uh that i could have bought field five instead of 25 and used that as my grass field and been way closer to myself but then again there's not really a sell point over there so maybe one day we will own that field until then we're gonna have to go put this way because we missed some spots in our fields it was weird i don't know what happened we got spots in our fields that we've missed so we're gonna go fill those in real quick and here's my contraption to do it so i've got my massey fargus in here we're gonna unfold the cedar we're gonna unfold the plow and we're gonna go around and we're gonna find these little spots that for some reason we're not having it this is one right here i don't know how these pop up i don't know what the problem is but if we go in here all of these spots all right well it says needs rolling but 
I I think there's more to it than that. Uh, they're they're like everywhere. Uh, if, uh, all right, we're, I'll just show you that it doesn't need rolling. How about that? All right, so we're in here. We got this little spot right here. I don't know why it's there. I've rolled over it. I've done everything that I'm supposed to do. Drop this down. We'll go over it as such. And it just stays like that. I don't... I don't know what it is, what I've done, what I haven't done. No idea. We got a couple little dots right here. You see these little dots? We'll go through, see if we can roll these over, make the dots disappear. All right. All right, well, that seemed to work. It did not work the time before that. Maybe I just let these grow and see what happens? Uh, maybe that's maybe that's the best thing to do in this situation. I don't know what's going on. All right, maybe that's maybe that's what we do. We go through and we fertilize the first time around. We harvest and then we see what happens. Well, certainly, oh yay! Uh, certainly saves me a whole lot of work, then doesn't it? So I want to put down some bees, and I've gone into the help menu because I cannot, for the life of me, find where they have said how close or how far away they need to be. It just says that uh, place them next to the fields that uh, will have canola, sunflower, potatoes, and you can increase your yield. But it doesn't say what the yield increase is or how close they need to be. So I'm thinking we go in here, we go to aminals, b -b 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 bees, and we find ourselves eh, these, eh, these. These are fine. I you know, these are okay. These are these are all right. We're we're doing good. We're doing all right. I thought about maybe putting them over here because I don't do anything with this area. There's nothing here. There's nothing to do, and I use this area right here as a shortcut, not this area. I don't even drive in here. I just drive straight over the crop. So I'm thinking maybe put them here, and they're pretty close to this field. So we should get a uh, a nice little uh, b -b -b bonus, yeah. There we go. We'll place those down. So they are kind of expensive each. They're nineteen thousand dollars plus the cost of uh, leveling out the ground. So the question would be, do we want to <laughs> be? Uh, do we want to put more? Because we can get more honey at least. I don't know if it's going to increase the yield the more honey bee things we have, but. I think for right now, that's okay. At least two. Uh, we could also place one maybe over here. So I don't use this gate for anything. So technically we could just place one like right here. And this would be between the two fields. So we could still get our bonus there. I had also considered placing a few down here. So we do have a freely placeable area down here on the other side of this. So I had thought about putting uh, putting some areas here. Now, if we try and use the <laughs> the place, it just kind of slides through. But if we get our mouse in here, we can actually place this properly. So I thought about maybe putting a couple here as well. It doesn't really matter where your honeybees are. It matters where your, your cell palette is. So I, I thought about maybe one more there, but I think for now, we're going to leave it be. <laughs> Yep, did that on purpose. Next, we gotta figure out where we're gonna put our honey cell point. So what I would like to do is to find where it lets us, and my mouse has disappeared, there we go. Well, where it lets us sell our honey. I don't think there's anywhere for us to sell honey. Is there? Okay, there is. This is good. Uh, so the next thing is placing the honey down so that it sells all the time with one exception. Well, the prices fluctuate a lot, and they're going to produce honey every single day. So where do we put it? Well, I made my choice, and it was actually a pretty easy choice to make, considering that this is where I'm putting all my pallets anyway. Well, it just makes sense to put these here. Now, I don't know if I want to place it. Let's see, 212. This one's 15 grand. I thought about putting one of these down. This is nice because these will deliver your honey, so you don't have to deliver it. This will not. So there's, there's a bit of a price difference. Plus, this holds more. I thought about getting one of these. You place down maybe like right here or something like that, even though this whole area is going to be production chains eventually. I thought maybe this is the perfect place to put this. 
planning failed. Your face has failed. Get out of here. <laughs> Quote me on that one if you want to. Uh, yeah, I think about right in here is good, but unfortunately, those wool pallets are way, way in our way right now. All right, let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. Let's put this down. I want to put it maybe as close, far away up here as possible. We don't need that trigger in the very back, so we can keep keep well away from that. Maybe about right in here. Yeah, all right, that looks good. Place it down. Hopefully it didn't cause any issues. How you looking? Looking good. We do need to smooth a few things out real quick. It, this is, I mean, it's pretty easy. Ooh, a little shaky. Thanks, OBS. You are awesome. Let's smooth this out. Sculpting. Soften. Yeah. Soften it out. Let's go. Perfect. So now all of our honey will come here because we've got kind of an in and out. Honey in, honey out. It's it's actually pretty genius. Uh, production cost per month because it's going to cost me $50 a day. Uh, so that's, you know, it is what it is. We do need to figure out how we're going to do things. What's nice is you can throw storage in and this is where the honey comes out. So I need to figure out all right, so let's activate it. Right now it is storing it, so we'll store it inside. We can have it sell it or distribute it somewhere else. However, we don't have anywhere to distribute, so right now we're just going to have to stick with storing because we've got uh, virtually an entire year to wait before we can actually do anything with this. So at this point, we've done basically everything that we could possibly get into, possibly manage, possibly do, other than whatever I'm doing right now, I've actually got to go over here and manage the wool because wool is interesting because I've got, what, 250 sheep and I think this is going to fill up once every about 20 hours or so. Uh, looks like there's only one pallet over there right now, but that's going to increase dramatically. So I need to prepare myself to be picking up wool pallets. We've also got our chickens in there. They're going to be producing, so that's going to be there. Man, we are in it now. I think I've done everything that I needed to do to prepare ourselves for moving forward. We've got our new game set up. We've got everything that we needed to do done. I think at this point, we can fast forward until the next day in game and well, see what happens. Well, good morning to a super rainy, icky September morning. We've got a couple chores around. We've got cool that needs to be done as a matter of fact i don't actually need to pick this up i think just putting it to the side will work uh the sheep did not produce half as much wool as i thought they would it, quite literally uh, they produced what three pallets overnight not as much as i thought they would let's also go down into our animals we have to double check and see so reproduction rate on chickens is fine but we maxed out so that's not going to help any Reproduction rate is low on our sheep, but that will go up over time. And the reproduction rate on our cows is actually really good. And they're looking great on everything that they've possibly got. So we've got a good amount of milk, 35 gram, it's 35 gram, 35,000. Straw, do not pay attention to that number, it's 81,000. And slurry, we've got 51,000 liters of slurry. I am planning on utilizing the slurry and the manure for fertilizer, at least at this point, I might go back on my word there. So just <laughs> bear with me. One of the great things about slurry is you could do double rate application. So if we've got enough, I could modify a trailer and instead of spreading fertilizer twice, we could put slurry down once and be completely done with it. And as a matter of fact, we've got quite a few pieces of equipment that allow us some really neat things so if we go into slurry tanks we've got like some massive drag hoses and things like that see if i can find one so like right here 36 meters absolutely massive huge huge amount of stuff there we've even got a few things in i think is it a miscellaneous no no where where is it forestry no grape technology no, no. huh animals maybe no uh <laughs> <laughs> help large tractors possibly yeah i think this is gonna be where it is so we've got a class you know what i can't i can't do this where's where's my brands let's just go to c go to class this is gonna make it a lot easier you guys know what i'm looking for i just can't freaking find it come on 
There we go. Saddle track. I don't know where this was, but we've got this, right? So we could get maybe a big saddle track, big Zarian right here, uh, and spread with that. That would do fertilizer pretty well. Plus, we could utilize that as a big tractor. I mean, we have 400, almost 500 horsepower on it. That's a lot of power. Let's double check our manure as well. Looks like manure pile is going up pretty good. So uh, 2,900 liters. Not a lot, but enough. Some, I think, the, yeah, the word some comes to mind. And uh, slurry is starting to accumulate down at the bottom. So a lot of hard work. Seems to be paying off pretty well. And I think at this point we could probably fast forward possibly another day in game because well, there's nothing nothing going on and if we go take a look at sell prices because we're not putting down any of our placeables and things like that yet so we're just going to be selling off things that we have so that stuff's staying however this stuff we're going to be selling this stuff if we show price fluctuations we're showing january for all of those so we're going to have to wait but the rest of the stuff's looking good just like you guys on the other side of the camera, you're looking good as well. Go look in the mirror. Go look at yourself. You look fresh, just like the outro. Just like every episode of Farm Someday. Oh, wrong outro. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel. New. Join the Go Ham Fam channel members. We release these episodes early for channel members. So you'll be able to see these at least 24 hours before they're released. So you know exactly what's going on, that type of thing. We also have a private Discord for channel members where you can go and just be yourself and not have to worry about a bunch of drama or anything like that. Just have fun. And you can also contact me directly through that as well if you need to. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you later. And peace.